The Beef Today Report is brought to you by CattleExchange.com, connecting cattle buyers and sellers nationwide. Our reporting partners at Beef Today say April Live Cattle Futures made some gains on Tuesday's losses. On Wednesday, they closed the day at 118.50, up $1.70 per hundredweight. Beef Today editors say confirmation from export markets that there would be no changes in U.S. beef trade helped steady the market. One concern after the BSC case had been confirmed is how other countries would respond to the news and how it would impact the U.S. export market. According to our reporting partners at Pro Farmer Today, it's good news in that area as beef imports to major exporting countries haven't been impacted at this time. Mexico says it will keep its current level of inspections of U.S. beef. South Korea considered halting inspections of U.S. beef that would have ultimately stopped imports of U.S. beef. The country has decided, however, to increase quarantine checks of the beef. There has been no impact on imports at this time. Japan has said there is no need for a change in its beef trade policy with the U.S. And China hasn't had any response as of yet. And the European Union won't take any action as officials were pleased the U.S. was able to find the case before the animal entered the food chain. Once again, here's Chance Brooks from Texas Tech who says there's no support of a long-term trade disruption. The, the facts of this case don't really support a decline in cattle prices right now. This is actually an animal health issue. It's not a food safety issue. And the export of product is inspected product that's actually you know, under the auspices of USDA and FDA. And so it should have no negative impact uh, on prices. If we do see an effect on, on cash prices or future prices, it may just be a knee-jerk reaction to the announcement. And uh, it should stabilize in the, in the coming days. Later in Food and Your Family, we'll look at what could be the positive side of the BSE issue.